Hey, what is going on all you fantastic amazing people? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about should Fallout 76 have passive perks or passive special cards anyway. So with that being said, uh, I actually have a perfect example for you guys to use or a perfect example to use, which is Ghost Recon Wildland Breakpoint. So let's go ahead over to that game and I'll show you what I mean. So the perfect example I want to use for passive perks is actually in the game Ghost Recon Wildlands. Some of you may recognize this as the example we used for a community hub for Fallout 76 and in this video we're using this game once again to demonstrate what I mean by passive perks and kind of give you a rough example. So in Ghost Recon Wildlands when you have your character you can have a maximum of three perk slots. Now. Picture those perk slots as Fallout 76's special cards. You can only have a certain amount of special cards, meaning you could only have a certain amount of perks in Fallout 76. And in this game, you could only have a certain amount of perks, and that just happens to be three. But what's really cool about this game is this game has some passive perks. Now, what passive perks are, are essentially perks that are always on without taking up essentially a uh, perk slot. Or in Fallout 76's case, um, it would be, you know, without taking up a special card uh, inside your special. So, this passive perk, as you guys can see here on screen, is experience upgrade. Gives me 20% more XP. If we come on up, there's another passive perk, tireless, uh, minus 40% stamina cost. And there's a passive perk here, 20% climb speed. And all the pass passive perk technique accelerant, minus 5% technique cooldown, and all the passive perks I just showed you, there's many more, but all the passive perks I just showed you, uh, once you pick them and select them, essentially they're always on, and they don't take up any uh, essentially perk slots. And I think the same thing should happen with Fallout 76 with certain perks. So let's go ahead back on over to Fallout 76, and I'll show you more what I mean. All right, so we're now back on over to Fallout 76. And now we could kind of talk about what I mean by passive perks exactly for a game like this. So in Fallout 76, things would have to work a little differently. Obviously, passive perks wouldn't affect damage cards because then by the time you're level 100, you're going off as a super overpowered character. So not all abilities or stuff would be uh, essentially passive. The only things that I think should be passive are little small things. And what I mean by little small things would be like perhaps Cannibal, uh, Dromed, Slow Metabolizer, Thirst Quencher. Essentially, these perk cards that don't affect the PvP aspect of the game. I mean, odds are if you play Fallout 76, your character and your perk cards are spec for damage. How many of you have been at a point in time where you have to move around your perk cards just because you want to craft something? Or perhaps you're traveling out through the wasteland and you have to move your perk cards because you come across a terminal, but you don't have enough uh, essentially special points to assign those perk cards because they're all used up by, well, other perk cards. It's super annoying to constantly have to switch uh, perk cards inside Fallout 76 every time I want to hack a terminal every time I want to pick a lock, every time I want to craft, I have to throw on the correct perk cards. Uh, and that's because most people are probably walking around spec for damage, just like I am. Obviously a little bit harder to use an example here since this is a fairly newer character that we just started a few days ago for our Let's Play series. But it's so annoying to constantly have to switch perk cards in this game, and I think passive perks would solve that problem literally instantly, like I said earlier. I mean, think about it. If hacker and all the hack hacking cards were passive perks, I would just be able to, once I unlock those perk cards, walk up to any terminal and be able to hack it, even without those perk cards on. I would be able to pick any lock uh, as long as you had the perk cards in your inventory. I think it would be really cool to see those as passive perks. Obviously, like I said, there would need to be some restrictions, so nothing that affects damage. So for instance, I w Pat Iron Fist wouldn't be a passive perk because then my character would be super overpowered. Uh, you know, uh, things like uh, Rifleman wouldn't be a passive perk, I don't have it on. Um, big Guns wouldn't be a passive perk or anything like that. The only thing that would be passive perks are the stuff that doesn't affect combat 
and uh, essentially reviving others. Obviously, if you had this, everyone would be super overpowered when it came to PvP, and, it, and it'd be a little uh, ridiculous, right? So, uh, only certain things would be passive, like Hard Bargain. There's no reason on Earth that Hard Bargain shouldn't be a passive perk. I mean, it's not giving me any player uh, versus uh, player advantage. The only thing that is uh, helping me is essentially buying and selling prices at non-player vendors are better. That's not horrible or bad in any way, shape, or form if that was to become a passive perk. Same thing with something like Cannibal or Droomdry or Slow Metabolizer or Thirst Quencher. In fact, I think that would make the game better. The constant grind for food and water in this game is a bit annoying sometimes, so having those as passive perks would be really nice. That way you can only have to eat food, uh, you know, a, a couple out of the time. When you go to craft, you don't have to switch all your perk cards around just so you could get the, you know, best crafting experience you possibly can. Because odds are, if you play this game, you have, you know, armorer or uh, you have makeshift warrior or whatever, you know, uh, weapons that you use, you probably have the perk card specific for crafting those type of weapons. And it really sucks to have to switch your perk cards like every now and then if I want to repair my gear, if I want to craft something, if I need to craft stim packs, like it really sucks having to switch my cards in order to get the best benefits possible. But if we had passive perks in this game, that problem would be solved. I would be able to walk around with my character fully spec'd for damage without, you know, essentially having to, you know, um, sacrifice uh, my perk slots for, you know, something like uh, Pack Rat or something like uh, Traveling Pharmacy. Um, I would be able to, you know, fully, fully kit my character out for, uh, spec them out for damage rather than, you know, having to switch my perk cards every now and then. Like, it sucks having to switch your perk cards. I think we could all agree, you know, especially when you're walking around fully spec for damage and you got to repair something or you got to craft something or you come into a terminal that you have to hack or a lock that you have to pick. You have to adjust all your perk cards just to do certain things in this game and it's super annoying. And with passive perks, that problem would be solved instantly. So I think we should add passive perks to Fallout 76 for that reason. So we don't have to constantly switch our perk cards around in order to perform an action like crafting, uh, you know, armor, weapons, whatever have you. Um, what the hell? Uh, um, so, uh, yeah, like it, it really sucks to have to, you know, switch your perk cards every time you want to do something in this game. Um, and it really sucks that you can't, you know, fully kit your character out and spec them out for damage because you know you need other perk cards like pack rat and uh what is the other one that i have uh you know traveling pharmacy in order to make stuff lighter there's no reasons that these shouldn't be passive perks they don't affect pvp they're not going to make my character overpowered they're just going to make my quality of life that much better so i don't see why we shouldn't have passive perks in fallout 76 it would solve a huge issue in this game, and the huge issue in this game is constantly having to switch around your perk cards in Fallout 76. Every time you want to do anything, craft, pick a lock, or hack. Anyways guys, uh, that's the reason I think we should have perk passive perk cards. What do you think? Like I said, passive perk cards wouldn't apply to stuff that gives you more damage or anything like that. Because then everybody would be overpowered. When it comes to PvP, only high-level people would win and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, when it comes to passive perk cards, only affect things that don't affect PvP. And I, obviously, I can't go through all of them because that would take forever. But, you know, there's no reason I shouldn't have all these as passive perks. There's no reason that these should take up slots, right? I mean... It, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, hacker, I mean, when you want to hack a level three terminal, you got to put three of them on there. When you want to pick a level three lock, you got to put, you know, throw three of them in there. And that's just kind of annoying. And when I want to craft, I have to switch around my perks completely. That's super annoying as well. I mean, my character already spec for damage, so I could go out, I could destroy the enemies, you know, I, I could, you know, kill them. But it, it just sucks having to, you know, switch your perk cards around every time you want to do something in this game. 
Anyways, sorry for the repeating of myself. I do apologize. This is just a topic I've wanted to talk about for a very long time, and I was very excited to talk about, which is why I repeated myself a lot, so sorry. Anyways, love you all. Hope to see you guys back here in the next one. But until then, remember to stay freaky, and bye-bye, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Have a good one, and well, uh, peace out.